All right, guys, so here's the deal. My show is canceled. So pretty much what happened was I was going for two shows. I had to re-qualify, I had to do a regional show, I had to do a national show. So the regional show would be on the Friday and the very next day, the national show would be on the Saturday. That was the pro qualifier where I could actually get my pro card. Now, both these shows were gonna be placed in Toronto, Canada originally. Now, about two weeks out from that show, all of Toronto goes into a lockdown. So the show's moved to Hamilton. I go, okay, great. The show's in Hamilton. We live in Hamilton. Now, we're about a week out from the show now, thinking it's in Hamilton. We got a hotel and shit there already and everything. Everything's set in stone there. And then a week out, oh, Hamilton goes into a red zone, uh, one step lower from a lockdown. So we can't have it in Hamilton anymore. So they're looking for a venue, looking for a venue. We're like three days out now from the show and they go, okay, it's in Barrie now. The show's in Barrie. So we're like, holy shit, it's an hour and a half away. What's going on with the tanning and everything now? We have all our tans booked and we book a hotel in Barrie, get the tanning situation all set. Now we're a day out. I guess they're all setting up in Barrie for both the shows, okay? The Friday show and the Saturday show. As they're setting up, apparently the police came and shut down the whole fucking operation. They canceled the show and said they couldn't have it in Barrie. So this is taken today. This literally just happened today. Today I am a day out from show number one, the Friday, two days out from the pro qualifier. They're scattering, trying to find a new place all day, all day, trying to keep us updated. We're all sitting at home. I'm sitting at home suffering, dehydrating myself, starving myself because I got to make a weight cut off 170 pounds for classic physique. I've never done classic before. And I was just really fighting my body to get under 170, but I was able to do it, but I literally had to kill myself. I'm like passing out left, right and center almost and uh, fucking getting delusional. <laughs> I feel like I'm like fucked up off shrooms and shit. And they say, well, we can't have it in Barry. I'm like, well, what the fuck? Okay, so where the hell's the show gonna be? Fucking six hours passes. I'm, you know, I'm sitting at home all fucking anxious, like, holy shit, man, like, is the show gonna go on? I'm starving my ass off. I've been suffering horribly the last two weeks trying to make this weight, and I feel like it's about to go all out the window. And sure enough, the show's canceled. They can't find another venue because there's talks about all of Ontario going into a full lockdown. So literally just 20 minutes ago, we found out that the show that everybody's been prepping for is just fucking canceled. I think that I have it bad, but I really don't have it bad. There are people that they got hotels in Hamilton, they got to the Hamilton Hotel early, fucking stay there and shit, find out it's moved from Hamilton to Barrie, then they go to the Barrie Hotel and they've already fucking stayed at the hotel and shit, and then as they're staying in the hotel, they find out it's canceled there. So these people actually went to the fucking hotel, didn't, couldn't cancel their hotel because they're already staying there, lost that money. And then there's people who are even more fucked and they actually flew in from other parts of Canada, fucking other countries on a literal fucking airplane. And they're not getting their money back for that. They took a fucking airplane and now they got to take a fucking flight back for no fucking reason. So they suffered wasted money on travel and they probably got a fucking quarantine, I guess, when they get back to wherever the hell they came from. So that's my situation. I probably just put on 10 pounds in the last 20 minutes. As soon as I got the call that it was canceled, they just threw down Veronica's disgusting honey buns. I don't even like those fucking honey buns, but man, I, when you're fucking dying, honey buns taste pretty fucking good. So just scarfed down half a box of fucking honey buns, ripped through like a whole rack of double stuffed Oreos and uh, just pounded a Diet Coke. So I'm a little bloated now, but I'm not gonna let this go to fucking waste guys i'm gonna take this as a sign that you know you just gotta roll with the punches nowadays you know fucking things are gonna come at you an obstacle is gonna come at you shit fucking happens and you just gotta take it as a sign that everything happens for a reason okay so i'm just gonna look at this and i'm gonna look at it in the sense that you know it was meant to happen i'm meant to get shredded and go into a bigger rebound make more muscle and take advantage of uh bigger better off seasons that i can come back even better for the next pro qualifier. Maybe I'll even have a better shot at getting my pro card uh, that time around. So it is what it is. At least I get to go back to my off season, make more muscle. I love making gains. Um, you know, I love shredding too, but you know, there's nothing like putting muscle on. I love bulking and shredding the same. You know, there's positive and negatives to both, but you know, I've had a good run shredding for the last little while. Happy to go back and start bulking up again and uh, put on more size and come back next year bigger, leaner, better, more experienced. And uh, 
and I'll compete again when the competition environment's a little more stabilized. Now, I'm not gonna let this physique go to waste. We're gonna do a little fucking mock call down here in the basement. And I'm gonna go through some uh, quarter turns, some mandatories, and if you guys are lucky, maybe I'll put on a little fucking routine for you guys. So, boom. This is, uh, this is me flat as shit, guys. Well, I'm not that flat, because I just pounded some Oreos and shit, but this isn't me primed up. I was in the middle of still trying to dry out a bit more and carb up, but we'll do a little mock comp, so. How's it looking, Brando? Pretty sliced. Not too bad. Not too bad. This is no tan, guys, you know? I was in the middle of trying to drop my water even a little more, too. But, oh, you gotta do my side chest. Should I take him through my routine? All right guys, so now I'll do my routine, I guess, but I'm not gonna do it with the music because I don't want the whole video to get copyrighted and I'm not gonna get my YouTube money if that happens. So I'm just gonna do it off cue, no music. Maybe I'll put some weird background music in the background for this part, but probably not. So here we go. So there's that sexy little number for you guys. That would have been a whole lot better with the sweet epic music that I had. But yeah, at least you guys had a little mock routine to watch. At least I was able to put a little mock show together. You know, it didn't go to a complete way. So share my mock comp with everybody so it doesn't feel like this whole shit went to a waste. All right guys, until next time, Devin Bernardo out. Next time you see me, my face will probably go from this to fucking this. Back on the game train, guys. I'm going to an off season. 
I don't know how dirty it's gonna get. It's gonna be completely by feel. I'm just probably gonna probably gonna try to take it easy for a bit, try to keep the eating disorder at bay. I'm probably just gonna try to cruise normal, cruise normal, and then uh, whenever I feel like pulling the trigger on a big fat bulk, I'm not gonna hesitate to pull that fucking trigger like they do in the fucking lockdowns. Okay, peace out, bye. Rah!